Hey, what's up guys? We're going to episode of Pat T's performance day in the driveway. We have this beautiful Toro Recycler. Not any Toro Recycler. This is the smart stow where you could fold it and, and, and put it in a, some crazy funky position. So, believe it or not, I picked this up for an okay deal. Uh, it was in non-running condition. The guy said he hadn't used it in a while. So I'll be honest with you, I paid I paid hundred bucks for it. Well, it's a smart snow. Smart snows cost a little bit more than the regular Toros. So usually I sell personal paces for around 250. I'll try and squeeze 300. If I get 250, I'll be more than happy to it. So what do you guys think when you see a lawnmower that's like new, has been used in a while, doesn't start or has trouble starting? What do you think is the main culprit? Come on. A simple carp clean. That is that is not the case with this one mower. Obviously, by the title of this video, you will understand why it's not not starting. Hopefully, I'm going to try and see if you guys could feel the tension on this pull start. You know, there is no way that I could pull this with enough force to spin the motor. So I have to travel to uh, Oyster Bay. So I did it after work. So we, look at this. Could hear. So I says, come on guy, what did you do? So I just took a quick peek underneath the mower in front of him and I seen the issue right away. He didn't want to budge. I'm like, you know what, this thing's literally brand new. They've never done a belt before, but it should be cheap and uh, this should sell easily. So uh, let's have at it and uh, give this thing a gander. Smart Stone by Tora. <gasps> um, I should have pressure washed all of this. Anyway, let's see. I can see it from here. Let me take you guys over here. Look at that belt. That is flipped and torn, so we got to replace that. All right, so let's start peeling away the layers to access the belt. Five eighths. If you haven't already, now is a good time to sharpen your blade, which we will do. So now that we have, oh, I wonder if we could. Do you think? Now you know what? Let's uh, let's pull this belt cover off. We should be half inch or 13 millimeter. We'll pull off the protective belt cover and uh, we'll get this going. So we're gonna pull these two bolts here, one and two. Okay. And your belt is off. Right, this is holding the engine. Even though we have one bolt in there holding it, it'll be it'll be okay. Just for safety measure. We don't want the motor flapping around or the motor to snap. We'll put these right back in. Okay, now we need to access the back and we obviously see this belt is ran through this cover. So now we have to take off this cover. And actually the bolts for this are on the other side of the lawnmower. So these are your two three eight bolts right here. And that should release that cover. If not, it will look really, really bad. Oh, I look good. I know I look good. I have a mullet. Of course I look good. Wow, look at this belt. Look at this belt. Can we, let's, can we turn this? No, we'll just slide this off. Pull this off and see. I've never seen that before. 
Looks like this must have got caught and jammed at some point and then flipped and stretched. What do you guys think? All right, so now we have to focus on the transmission part. Hmm. And those bolts are on the top. So we just unhook. Alrighty, so so how do we get a good camera shot of this? Underneath here is a hook. All right, so I unhooked that cable, no tools, and I flipped the transmission over where we could see it, and now we have these two bolts right here, and they're square. What the heck? All right, so this is what, oops. We need these squares right here. If you guys ever put a deck together, that's what these decks are for. See that, nice and square? And so we're just going to have to match this up. And that works. This is SQ2, if that means anything to you. For you guys that build decks if they're certain sizes. So let's get this in here. That went out nice and easy. Uh oh, the camera. Okay, second one. Oh, there's a third one, right there. And here's our blown out belt. There's your carnage. Just match up the new belts. Boom, perfect. All right, eBay affiliate link to the same exact seller I bought this belt from will be in the parts description. Now, because we're going metal into plastic, you really don't have to put anti season in here. I know, right? You guys, oh my god, not using anti season Yeah, we're just going metal into plastic, so there's going to be no um, issues. Check my own YouTube video on how to put this back on. Alright, so the same way we took it off is the same way we put it back on. That is the plan as always. And like I said, do that. So let's just start this a little bit. And then we can get the other ones dialed in as well. Don't just stick this in and start screwing, give a little firm, and then you start giving it a zip. And then we should get the last one dialed in, and then we can flip this bad boy over. Come on, and don't be an idiot like me. And put black screws on a black driveway, and you're partially colored one. That's the last one we're putting in, since this is gonna line up. We'll send this all the way home. Same way we took this apart is the same way we put it back together. All 
Next step, very important, anti-seize, okay? Please do this, you're gonna love this. Ever, God forbid, you ever have to take your crankshaft off, this stuff should and will save you a lot of frustration from removing it and it's one a lot of times these are frozen oh this has a space here. interesting okay this can only go on one way there's a keyway in here so just match it up you see that just stroke it back and forth and work that anti-seize in okay we'll do the belt oh. You know what? We'll just go like this. They're not so caught up in anti seize. Okay, now that that's in, nice and firm, we're going to use anti seize again. Very, very important if you didn't know already. God forbid, again, you have to take your engine apart. You have to worry about the Take your anti-seize. See that? Round threads. And put it back in. You might as well do it now. Because later down the line, you're gonna kick yourself in the booty if you ever snap that bolt. All right, and now we could just take out both of these. Because we have to put that bracket back on. Same thing, anti-seize. Okay, you can just do the ends, because as you twist the threads, the anti-seize will work its way through. But as you guys can see me, I like to be a little bit excessive. That's just the way I was taught. So the way I was taught is the way I will teach because it's really not the end of the world. Just be careful with this stuff. It spreads like wildfire if you get it on yourself. So the missus knows when I use it because sometimes I get it all over myself. Anything you touch will have some residue. So I started those by hand. You don't want to start a difficult job. And make it a hard one. So now our belt is on. And now we could reconnect our cable. Remember we did this with no tools, so we could do it again with no tools. You know what we should have done? Idiot. Idiot. We should take this all apart. Do it with the belt loose. Scheiser. Scheiser. Rework. All right, so let's slide this off again. And now, see how it's flipped forward? Now we have more than enough clearance to slide this cable on. And bam, bam, thank you. I know they did that off camera, but you guys know when you take your machine apart, you will see exactly what to do. Okay. Is that spacer not lining up? That spacer is a pain in my you know what. Spacer's flipping. Why are you flipping? See the spacer in there? No, you can't. You can't see. There's a spacer in there. Stay. Stay. You're talking to a dog. There we go. See, I went all the way in, and that's how we know our spacer is in. And now we can go back. To these bolts <clears throat> again. Okay. 
Okay, I know I said I was gonna sharpen this plate. I will do that off camera. I just wanted to get this going for this video. It's gonna start to rain soon. We we're actually gonna go see the Ducks game tonight, but the rain is gonna stop us. Okay, next is we have to put this cover. So, we're gonna keep it in the uh, yoga position of upward dog because if we lay it on it's the way I showed you guys it's just gonna fall over on itself so we're gonna do it like this get our two bolts and we're gonna snake this from behind now the question is I wonder will it start because this thing hasn't ran since I got it. All right, so we're gonna go to the other side of the machine. <coughs> Visually, you guys are just gonna go behind here and line this up. Again, please start these by hand. This is plastic, plastic, plastic. And I'm putting on my drill to setting one. Because that's all it is, plastic, plastic. All right, now the question is, will it run? And self-propel. All right, more smart stuff. Oh, you know what? I guess when I fold it, oh, you flip these to lock it. Yep. All right. You dummy. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. All righty. Will it run? What do you think? What do you think? Got gas in here. It smells all right. I'm gonna send it. Success! 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 Success. Alright, just another little side note tidbit, okay? Look at that oil coming out of the freaking mouth. I wonder if that is a smart stove thing. I guess everything's supposed to be sealed, but I guess not. See that? No big deal. I'll let that run. Anyway, guys, guys, they advertise these lawnmowers as oil change free. Never change your oil. Please change your oil. Um, let me show you this motor I have apart for Ken's small engine. This is the same exact lawnmower with a don't change the oil. And the guy took their advice and never changed the oil. After three years, it doesn't run no more. Look at that. Look at that chunk of metal. Right here. Look what snapped. This is, your, this is part of your rod. So please, please, please change your oil or else. Or else, remember that Annie sees? That's gonna come in handy when you have to put a new motor in here. Because I'm not replacing a rod, and neither should you. All right guys, if you guys found this video helpful, entertaining, good, bad, ugly, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, guess what? I'll see you guys on the next episode of Pat Takes Performance and don't forget, the Mrs. and I, we go live every Saturday, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Eastern Time. If you guys have a Toro Smart Stove, tell me how you like it. Tell me, do you utilize it for the Smart Stove? If not, you know, whatever. And tell me if you guys ever had the situation before. I've never had a lawnmower that wouldn't start because the self-propelled belt. Excuse me. The self-propelled belt would jam up. All right, guys. Later.